Welcome the owner of the Silver Knights, Tommy Tanner. Well, first I want to welcome again the Queen, coming all the way from Sterling, New York, and the Renaissance Festival, and Sir William Drake and Sir Francis Riley. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I want to thank all, all of your. This is great. Uh, you know, we we've been working on this for about a year and a half, and I just want to you know welcome all, all the uh, college coaches here, all the co club coaches here, all the high school coaches here, all our club players from all different clubs here. Um, I want to welcome the former pros, professionals are here, uh, Mike Kerms, Darren Wynn, Ambrose Barbuto, Mike McCorders, Joe Papaleo, Mike Paolini, who've come out and supported all of you. If I missed anybody, um, you know, you know, welcome there too. Um, all our family, all our friends, my, uh, my mother, my wife, uh, Stacy, who's, you know, I don't know how she does it, so it's, uh, I'm not home much, and, and she does it, and I thank her. Um, Chris Wilmot from Rochester, um, but most importantly, Soccer Sam. Sam, can you stand up real quick, please? Uh, if, if, it wasn't, if it wasn't for Sam, I don't, I, we wouldn't be here today, I can guarantee you. Uh, Sam's been a, a, a very, very close friend who used to come to the games in Cleveland, and he brought me to Rochester to play for the Rhinos. Um, and then, you know, stuck by me through, through everything. He, was instrumental in putting this deal together with Chris. And again, if it wasn't for Sam and all he's done, I don't know, my life would probably be much different than it is today. So Sam, I thank you. Uh, I hope I thank you in 20 years when we're still going here playing. Um, you know, we'll, we'll be very competitive with Rochester, um, but we'll always remain very good friends, and thank you. Um, not not all, all the welcomes, not the thank yous, so all that's been done. Obviously, uh, Terry Tony, Mike Spaulding, uh, JJ, um, at the War Memorial, they've, you know, we've met and met probably, what, Terry, a year, a year and a half maybe, um, and, it, and it's finally come together. Um, Bill Fisher with the county's office. Can you tell Jordan some hello? Yeah. Um, Bon Shoney and King, Kathy, Paul, and Natalie. And George. Is George here, McGuire? He's not. George, there are lawyers, and they've, Kathy spent, I don't know, Kathy, hundreds of hours with us on the phone and everything like that. Hopefully not that many. Um, Dreisig Apparel, Mark Jones, with a local company here in Syracuse, who's our uniform provider. Uh, he couldn't be here today, but he put all the stuff together. He put, the, put our, our logos, and he's going to be in charge of our uniforms. Uh, integrated Marketing, John Kinslow, who, John, this is the best logo in the league. I mean, if you, if you look at your press, your packet, uh, John, you've done a tremendous job in Integrated Marketing. Uh, Roy Amato with OIP, our pizza, Woody's. All my girls and my staff, my bartenders, and everything else, thank you. Uh, Ted Reverso at Salve Bank uh, for, for all that you've done. Um, and the Renaissance Festival for being here. Um, I don't think I missed anybody. If I did, thank you. And we'll thank you uh, for a long, long time. Uh, now the easier part. I want to introduce my partners. Um, Doug Taylor. Uh, Doug, can you stand up? Doug's a, Doug's a close friend of mine. He's the operation manager at Rite Aid. He's also the vice president of our youth club here in Syracuse that we run on Empire United. And if it wasn't for Doug, his unwavering, you know, wanting to bring the very best team to Syracuse and the highest level to Syracuse, I don't know if it would happen. Doug kept saying, just keep going, keep going. And uh, Doug, Doug is one of part of our ownership group. And uh, thanks, Doug. And we look forward to a great, long, long time. Uh, Pete Raymond, right there over there. Pete's, Pete's Peter, Vice President, um, owner and operator of CNY Family Sports Center, where our offices are going to be, and also where, where the team will practice. Uh, you know, when you think of indoor soccer, it's Pete Raymond. Uh, you know, he played at Syracuse University, and you know, he's, he's the only arena right now that has boarded fields. And so, if you think about indoor soccer, think about excitement. You know, Pete has been a part of that. Pete's also involved with numerous other companies that have provided services to Central New York. I look forward to it. Pete's just been super in all this. And then our, our young guy, John Raymond. <laughs> who, 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 if the team doesn't do well, that's who we talk to. If the, team, if the team does well, we say, hey, congratulations, coach. You know, So John's got a lot of pressure. Uh, John has spent, I don't know, he's probably worked 
18, 20 hour days the past two weeks to get everything going here. John uh, grew up in Baldwinsville, played at Lemoyne, um, and very good player, accomplished player. And you know he's taken on this tremendous task of being our general manager. Um, it is the most exciting sport in the world. Uh, I walk, I went to a crunch game here probably eight years ago and I walked into the building and first thing I said, this would be awesome for indoor soccer. Uh, the, the building is, you are right on top of the field. Um, and, you know, thank you Chris for bringing us this opportunity. Fans, indoor soccer, you, you haven't seen it, you've seen it at, at, at Jones Road and you've seen it at, this will be the highest level, the fastest, most violent, physical, um, in your face game, it's, you can watch some, some of the highlights over there. Um, it, it's just, I, I can't even explain it. It's, it's going to be super. Um, I hope you're all there. Um, you know, the Syracuse Silver Knights, um, I was a professional player for 13 years, and professional soccer players are, are different than most other professional athletes um, in that, you know, we understand it's community support, it has to be earned. Um, and, and not given or granted. Um, and our players and every team I've ever played in in my 13-year in my career with the Sully Ducks, you know, we are in the schools. We are doing community projects. We are role models. Um, you know, the athletes say they're not role models. Well, I can tell you soccer players are definitely role models. Um, and the Syracuse Silver Knights are proud to present our organization to all our families, our friends, and the community of Central New York. Um, because it's, it's a great event and soccer players are good people. Um, you know, I played in Rochester with Chris and after every game, you know, he had, he had slapped fives with the entire stadium. You sign autographs after every game. You become a part of our community and that's what we're going to be doing here in Syracuse. That's what you can expect from the Silver Knights um, to be a part of this, this community. Um, you know, and, and no other athletes are, you know, are like that. Soccer players are good, good people. Not that the other guys aren't, but we're really good people. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. I think you can all see it's going to be a fantastic product. Uh, kids, especially from the youth leagues, are going to love watching MISL soccer. And uh, all the parents, the moms and dads, are going to love it also. So it's exciting for me. It's exciting for everyone else. And uh, I know it's exciting for the owners. Great logo. We we'll look forward to some great merchandise coming out soon with regard to that. And yes, Your Majesty. I've been doing some.